applause for Rich Scheidner. Another hand for Jim Short. Thank you. Yes, I do wear a jacket because I'm at the age where I need to leave the house looking coffin ready. Age is all over me, man. My hair is all just, you know, I'm beyond going bald. I always loved that phrase, going bald. It was always so negative. I want to be something positive, like progressing forehead. I just keep it short now because I got hair transplants from leftover from the, when I got them in the 80s back here. I got, that's what I got up front here. That's, the doctor told me at the time, don't worry about these transplants. We'll put them behind your hairline so no one will actually notice they're there. What I failed to realize was, of course, that's the whole point of going bald. My hairline would not be there in three years, and I'd be walking around with a picket fence sitting on top of my head. I always wanted to go back into the guy, put a little house up there, a couple of... Everything about it is going bald. It's just the, the aging process. I mean, I get injuries. I don't know how I get them. That's another thing. Like, I had this huge bruise on the back of my leg. My one daughter saw it. She goes, Dad, how'd you get that bruise? I'm like, I don't know. She goes, you don't know how you got that? See, she couldn't believe it because she's young and in shape. You know, when you're young, you, you know how you got hurt. You know, I must be where a train hit me. You know? <laughs> but at this point, I'm just like an old peach. I look down there. I must be where I brushed up against the escalator at the mall. Everything changes as you get older. My, my definition of fun changes. When you're young, fun is like bungee jumping, skydiving. You know what my definition of fun is now? A nap. <laughs> a nap where I dream about skydiving. That'd be a lot of fun. We went today. You went today? These are just jokes. I'm not really looking for recognition in your real life. Right? <laughs> Somebody in here is going bald too. You didn't see them go, I'm going bald over here. <laughs> I can't connect with everybody individually. There's a lot of people and I don't have that much time. You're looking to run a couple of jokes by and get out of here with nobody getting hurt. That's all I'm looking for. I'm glad you did whatever you did today. I'm sure it was a meaningful experience. And God bless you, you're young. You'll do it again tomorrow. But I'm just, I'm just trying to get back through the traffic on the 405 and that's all I'm doing. A friend of mine says, what you need to do, Rich, is get testosterone. You need testosterone supplements. That'll help, you know. Yeah, that'll really help me. That's what I need is testosterone, right? I have the, I have the anger of a 19-year-old and the reflex of a 60-year-old. <laughs> That's a recipe for an ass kicking right there. Just get older and you realize you just have more limitations. I accept my limitations now. I mean, one of the good things about getting older is I never hear anybody say to me, hey, you're wasting your potential. <laughs> like that. Still got the money stuff, though. Boy, that never goes away. Got a letter from the IRS saying I made a mistake. My 2008 tax owed them money. I went, man, that money's spent. <laughs> Don't have any 2008 money around. Let's see, somebody in here had money problems. They didn't raise their hand right there. See, I'm just want just to point that out to you for future reference. <laughs> they just laugh and we all move together. That's what happens. So. Don't separate from the herd. It's dangerous out there. My only chance of any kind of wealth and fortune is to play the lottery, you know, that's it, you know. And I, I don't play it until it gets me stupid numbers, you know. The rest of the time I just walk up to the lottery clerk and I'll just go, what's, what's the lottery pool right now? Five million dollars? Man, that's not worth a buck. <laughs> Give me a slurp instead, will you, man? Five million dollars won't make a dent in my problems, pal. Because I'm always worried about making the big money, but I never notice how I waste a little money all the time. Like, I can't, you know, I got, like a, I got a landline still. I don't know why I have a landline. There's no reason. The only people who call me in a landline are credit card people. That's the only people who call me. You know, because I'm always rotating my credit cards. I don't know who's late and all that. They'll call me, and I'll talk to them until I get on the phone. Hello? No, yeah. Yeah, I know I'm late. You know, I told the guy yesterday I was late. <laughs> don't you guys talk to each other? Aren't you in the same office right now? Are you even in an office or are you at home? Is this one of these jobs you go off the internet and making money at home? Is that what you're doing right now? Are you wearing any clothes? Because I won't talk to a naked man about my finance. I'll play that right now. 
you'll garnish my wages. I'm self-employed, pal. I won't pay me. What do you think of that? I'll fire me. You'll never get your money. How's that sound to you? And so I got, all the money goes into the cell phone. That's what it is. I got an iPhone. My daughter's got me an iPhone because it's way more phone than I need. It just, it just has so much more capabilities. It's just, you know, they got tired of me walking around my 1990s steam-powered flip phone, and they got me this iPhone, which is, which is really, it's got an app I like. It's got a defibrillator app, which I find kind of handy. But... My crazed daughters, man. I got, uh, you know, my, my other daughter just became a woman. That's how her mother put it. You know, she's a woman now. So, you know, which means her and her two, and I have two daughters and her mother all linked up on the same menstrual cycle. I'm trapped in some sort of women's prison movie. She's been my little girl now, man. It's like, I don't even know how to deal with it. I just treat her like a wounded wild animal. I come in the house, I don't move at her directly. I just kind of zigzag toward her, you know. It's just kind of, Move up sideways, put my hand out, see if she's going to bite it or hold it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ow, here's $20, I'll see you in the graduation, that's it for me. That's all my time, thank you very much folks, it's been a lot of fun. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Our next comedian is very funny, uh, he had his own Comedy Central special, he has his own television show on MTV called Money for Strangers, but please welcome to the stage, Jeff Died. Jeff? Keep it going for